Prince Charminder here and welcome to the first video of 2023. Yes, we're starting off strong this year. Um, I know that uh, I kind of dropped off after uh, the end of November, early December. Sorry about that, but uh, I will be having an update video coming out soon uh, so we can go ahead and see what the state of the channel is and where we're going. But enough of that. We're here. Let's start off. I want my first video to be really, really fun and uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while. So for 2023, we're starting off with some Jurassic Park content. Yes, I love opening the Hammond collection. I have a video that I'm waiting on to, <laughs> to finish editing uh, that was supposed to come out before this one, but um, that'll come out when it comes out. It'll come out soon. But this one is something I've been waiting to do for about a couple of months. It is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm grateful to my girlfriend and my brother who helped me get this uh, when it went up for sale because it sold out in like a couple of minutes as soon as it went live on the Mattel Creations website. And that is, it came, it came, it came in this box. It is the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Outhouse Chaos Set. Yes. So this was, like I said, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It uh, retailed for about one hundred dollars, I believe. And um, it is a Hammond collection, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it comes with um, an exclusive Gennaro figure. And I believe, uh, like the other previous Comic-Con sets, I, I've never gotten them, but there was a um, Amber collection, uh, Ray Arnold, and there was a uh, Legacy collection, John Hammond, that came out and it had like sound and exclusive packaging. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open this up, take a look at it and see how it compares to the other Rex that we have uh, already the the one that's available to everyone from Target. So let's see what we got. All right, so here we go. This is the box right here. We got Mattel Toys, Jurassic World Hammond Collection, Outhouse Chaos Set. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. Now I need to be a little careful because up at the top right here, you can already see from the tape, you can see the special box that they use for it. So you don't wanna use a knife or a pair of scissors and then just dig right into it. Because if you do that, you might damage ah, the box. There we go. Okay, here we go. When this was initially released, a lot of people were saying that the boxes that they came in were damaged. So I'm holding, I'm hoping for the best that ours is nice. I mean, I am gonna open it, but it would be nice to keep the box. So as you can see, once we pop this bad boy open, see the Jurassic Park logo. And uh, I guess I'm just going to pull it out. How can I pull this out? I could do this. I could do this. Let's let it come down just a little bit. There we go. And oh, I love it. Nice and slow. There we go. Okay, so how is it looking? Oh my goodness, ours looks really, really good. Ours looks good. I'm, I'm shocked. Okay, so this is a sleeve. There's a little slip on cover. So we have the Jurassic Park gates. That's really, really cool. And let's, let's slide it out. It's kind of hard. There's a little bit of, there we go. So you pull off the gates. Oh man, our box is nice. Ours is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Yes, that's great. That's wonderful. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> So here we are, this is the, the Jurassic Park Outhouse Chaos Collection set. It doesn't say it on the front. That we've got the Jurassic Park logo here. We have the ferns from the Jurassic, uh, the, the Rex enclosure. We're gonna turn the box to the side. We have right here, you can see Gennaro on the toilet. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's go and let's take a look at the back. Um, ooh, oh, this is really, really cool. Look at that, we got the, the Rex's fence over here. We have the main road and we got a little bit of, this is the back of the box. Wow, these are really nice. I, I don't want to open it now. Warning, during the trial run of Jurassic Park, Donald Gennaro ends up courting disaster when he frantically flees from his vehicle in hopes of hiding from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. However, he learns the true meaning of when nature calls during this bathroom breakdown 
where his objection is clearly overruled. <laughs> a little bit of lawyer humor there. Uh, down here at the bottom, we just have the, you know, skew and all that. Uh, off to the right, this is, I mean, the left, uh, the left side of the box is just more, more foliage, foliage, and uh, yeah, there we go. Um, oh, I really don't want to open this now. This is really, really nice, but I have to. I need to free this toy. Um, if you if you aren't opening this, if you want to keep this as a collector's item, um, it displays really nice. You see the Tyrannosaurus Rex paddock, um, little, uh, I guess, notification or like signage. And there's, there's a little opening here in the box. I know it's really hard to see um, with it, but there you go. You can see a better view of it. So if you want to show it off, you just do press the button. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so yes, and you can you can destroy the outhouse. I think it just plays the same thing, right? If we press it again, let's see. Oh no, it's a different sound. Oh, okay, so that's, I guess, let's see, that's two, that's a different sound. That sounds like the T-Rex is approaching the outhouse. <laughs> okay, and let's try it one more time. One last time. Let's see. I believe that's it. I think that's all three sounds. That's all of them. But that is really, really cool. Okay, let me go ahead and let's oh, let's open it up. Oh, I really don't want to, though. This is so nice. I just feel like calling my girlfriend now and telling her, like, I can't open this, babe. I cannot. It's too nice. <laughs> okay, so we'll be right back. slide this out now this box close it up wow I am still amazed at how nice this is so let's go and put this aside and here we are the outhouse play set so we've got uh, right over here you have the t-rex's tail um, it looks like there are a lot of things that we're gonna have to undo to get into this into this little uh, this beautiful this beautiful creature Okay, let me see. Um, let's see, let's see. What do we have to work with? What do we have to work with? We've got, down here at the bottom. Oh, oh, look at this. Down here at the bottom, we've got, there we go. So at the bottom of the box, we have right here the construction for the outhouse. Um, also, it gave us instructions right here. We've got these. So we'll take a look at those. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's get these figures out. I don't know where to even begin. I want to keep everything as nice as possible but it doesn't look like I'll have that option so right here at the foot the foot has um this little tie right here that I guess you're supposed to I don't know how it doesn't fall out oh there it goes so you just yeah just undo the tie and then you just feed it right through bingo we have the front foot of the Rex completely free so we have it right here. Um, let me see. Let's take a look at the back. Because the back is where a lot of the ties and uh, tape is going to be. Uh, yeah, we got quite a few here. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these off. Whew. All right. So that took a, quite a bit of work. Um, you are able to get this little paper, uh, like, foliage out if you'd like. Uh, there's some tabs down at the bottom. You can just cut the paper off. Um, and for to get Gennaro and his little thing out, you do have to pull on this plastic. So you are going to tear into the plastic, unfortunately. But well, that is besides the point. But let's take a look at what we've got in the box. Because so we have our little outhouse right here. This comes in one piece, and then you can take this piece off right here. And then you just line it up with the, uh, with the little indents right there on the side. Um, we have our Gennaro figure who is sitting on the toilet right here. He looks pretty good. Um, when he's got his little khaki shorts on, uh, he's got his nice little business attire on. So let's fix his arms. And, uh, I will say he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. And then his two accessories, you have a little briefcase, uh, that probably has all his important, uh, documents that he has to bring to, to John Hammond. And of course, um, his nice little, uh, hat. 
that he wore to the island. I believe he can still wear it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Donald Gennaro. Look at that. Looking good. Looking snazzy. Um, I wonder how he compares to the other Hammond Collection figures. Um, I don't know if he's in scale with them. I would assume he is, but we'll get we'll get them later to double check and take a look. See if I can get him to stand on his own. There he goes. Standing on his own, and I think does he can we put him right here on the toilet? Yeah, we can. Uh there's these little pegs here. There's openings on his feet, so I think you are able to just peg him in. Yeah, look at that. Okay, you are able to he's able to stand in the toilet. There we go. And then we've got, of course, the main attraction, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this is just like the regular Hammond Collection figure. It comes in two pieces. You have the tail. And um, if you look at the instructions uh, for the Outhouse Chaos set, let me go ahead and do right here. <laughs> it's very flimsy, so you're going to have to I'll have to get something to, uh, that doesn't, the light doesn't shine through. But here we go. So... Um, it says it's one time, one time assembly. So you're going to have the tail and the opening right here. Just line it up, pop it in and you'll hear a click. Let's see. Oh, I'm at a bad angle because of my, my microphone, but let's see if I can do it. There you go. There's the click. And now, now the Rex, she is able to stand on her own and Wow, um, I want to say this one looks really, really good. I love it. Um, this T-Rex has a different paint, different paint deco because uh, it is supposed to be the T-Rex at night and um, it does look a lot darker. I think this one looks way better. This one is the, probably the definitive version of what the Rex should look like. Um, so this is the same. It's just the same figure. There's no new features or anything like that. So if you already have the Hammond Collection Rex and you're thinking you're missing out, this is just the same one, just a different, just a different paint job on it. And if you want, let me go ahead and see. So here is the regular Rex, the regular Hammond Collection Rex that everyone can get a, their hands on now, thankfully. Um, but if you take a look at this Rex, it's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. The shade of, uh, of brown that they used, which is uh, accurate to when you see it in the daytime. But this Rex is a lot darker. You can see right there, it's like a dark brown. Um, it's got a nice, I like the underbelly color. Looks perfect. And uh, this one's great for like night shots. Um, if you want to recreate the, the movie. But yeah, so you have, you, if you've played with the Hammond Collection Rex, you've played with this one. You're not missing out. Like I said, just the paint job. But it looks really good. It's nice to have these two Rexes like right next to each other. Um, and just to see how different and how, how similar they are. So yeah, that's the main thing you're getting from this is just a new, a new, uh, paint job. And of course the Gennaro figure. So we have those right there. Now we can set up the outhouse. Um, it came, like I said, it came with an outhouse. So if we crack, if we cut these open, here's a little outhouse. We can do, uh, you just make it into a little box you just put this together put it right over the outside of the outhouse should should bend into place there it goes it's starting to bend now it's bending but it's not bending you gotta you gotta really full work on folding it let me see uh, it's really cool because you would think oh they're just uh here's the outside it looks nice but if you look inside it's actually got like there's a little Seat covers right there, and then uh, the door. That they, they painted the back of the door. They designed it, and then toilet paper rolls. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see. Now that I have it more in the shape of what it's supposed to be, let's see, let's see if it actually will actually stay up now. Let me go and put this back here. There it goes. Okay, so now it's together. I'm gonna put Gennaro back in there. Let's have him sit there. And you have the little hut, and you just like the line it up with these little. Papers right here, little inserts. There it goes. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna hear a little, you're gonna hear them, hear them fit into it. And then, boop, there we go. So there's our outhouse. Let's put Gennaro. Let's have him sit down on the toilet like he would if he was in the movie. I'm gonna peg him in. That way he stays, he stays seated. There we go. And then put it right over. 
Boom. There's our little outhouse with Gennaro. And of course, it came with this little plastic Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, sign. That's really, really cool. So we can put that right here. Oh, that looks great. You can, look at that. You can The little door opens up. So now you can play with your little... Oh my god, that thing is loud. You can play with your little playset. You can have the T-Rex run on over. Rawr, and then just uh, hit it right here. It's got weight to it, so you can just go poof. Eh. Uh. Ah, where's Gennaro? I want Gennaro. Ah. Ah, poof. There it goes. Yeah, there he is. And then you got Gennaro right there sitting on the can. Scared as can be. Have a lunge over. Bite. Pull him off the toilet. Boom. There you go. That's cool. That is really freaking cool. I'm so happy that I have this. The teeth look cool on this one, too. The teeth ever are a lot darker. Yeah, there we go. So you can pull Gennaro off the toilet, just like in the movie. Now, I will be, I will say, be careful when you're taking the, um, the plastic off of this, because I bent mine, and it's like, now it's not really staying on there as well as it should. But, yes, there we go. That's the Hammond Collection Outhouse Chaos set, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Um, I think they, you can find them on eBay for a little more than market, uh, market price. This, like I said, this thing costs a hundred dollars, um, when I bought it and I think it's going for like 120, 150, depending on where you find it on eBay, you might be able to get a deal on it. But, uh, I'd say if you're, if you're a huge fan of the Hammond collection and you want another T-Rex, you want a more movie accurate, uh, nighttime version, uh, I like, like I said, this is just mainly for collectors. Um... I really wish I was able to keep it in the box nice and neat and clean, but toys are meant to be played with and shown off, so I'm glad I have it now. All right, so there we go. So tell me what you guys think. Did this uh, persuade you to get the Hammond Collection, Outhouse Collection, or Outhouse Chaos set? Um, I definitely am glad, like I said, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad I was able to show it off. Let's go ahead and let's see what the lights look like with the door open. That's really cool. That's really, really freaking cool. You can see him in there looking scared as heck. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, if you enjoyed this uh, Hammond Collection unboxing, make sure you leave a like, comment down below. What is your favorite uh, piece from the Hammond Collection? Um, right now, the T-Rex uh, on its own, plus this one right here are my favorite. These are, This is looking great. Um, I can't wait to see what else they bring. We have uh, some more figures coming out in 2023. We already know that John, uh, John Arnold, the Pachycephalosaurus, Robert Muldoon and um, Gia Simberga, Ankylosaurus, and the Velociraptor from Jurassic Park 3 are have been announced, and they're they're coming. It's just a matter of when. Uh, so we're definitely going to be taking a look at all of those uh, in due time. But do uh, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when you have those videos going up. Um, thank you for joining me for my first video of 2023. I can't wait to see what else we have in store uh, for Jurassic, for video games, for Nintendo, for anything that I that I love. And uh, I look forward to sharing with you guys. Until then, make sure you take care. Have a fantastic day. Hope your 2023 is going off to a great start. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.